All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you two ways uh, of separating um, separating a mixture of, of water and a solid uh, that does not dissolve in, uh, in the water. So what I've got here is I've got some sand. This is some sand. And I'm going to place this sand in, uh, in this beaker. I'm placing some sand in the beaker. And now I am going to um, add some water uh, into the beaker. And my goal is going to be to separate the sand from the water and to try to recover the water without any sand particles in it. So I am creating here uh, what we call a mixture right uh, you can see I've got a setup right here I'm going to use it um, later on um, so I've got this setup I'll go I'll explain it in just a second so I've got my sand and I've got my uh, my water in the beaker and uh, I've got my uh, chemical spatula and I'm going to use the chemical spatula to stir so what I'm doing is I am mixing right so this is now a mixture uh, you can you may remember from um, biology or previous sciences this is called a heterogeneous mixture because I can see the different parts I can see the water and the sand so I've stirred it long enough we're, we're, we're satisfied this is a, uh, a mixture and uh, we can see that I've got sand and I've got water in here and I would like to be able to separate them as much as possible uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, the first strategy the first uh, technique that we can use to separate uh, a solid that does not dissolve in water is uh, we first allow it to settle down. So here we've allowed it to sit for a little while. You can see most of the sand is at the bottom of the beaker and then the water is at the top. And when this happens, when we've allowed this to happen, we can decant the liquid, right? So we're gonna decant the liquid on top. Decant means to pour out carefully so that you leave the sediments on the bottom. So the sand that is on the bottom, I wanna keep it there and I'm gonna pour it carefully into uh, another container in order to begin separating them. And this is going to be a rough separation. Now notice I'm going to take my, uh, my chemical spatula and I'm going to put it over the top so that the glass part of this spatula is on the spout here of the beaker. I'm going to hold it with my hand like this and I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use it to pour into another beaker and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to minimize splashing so that I don't lose so much of my solution so I'm gonna I'm gonna place this against the wall of the beaker and I'm gonna pour it carefully just with a slight tilt okay so that it pours into the beaker and notice there is no splashing right if I were working uh, with a chemical that wasn't water Okay, notice I'm being very careful. I'm pouring slowly so that the sand stays behind. At least the large particles of sand stay behind. And this is decanting, decanting. All right, so notice I left most of the sand behind. And I have mostly water over here, but it's a little cloudy. You can see it's a little cloudy. We've got some fine particles in there. So decanting gives us a good initial separation in these types of situations, but we want a better separation. We want to get uh, most uh, the most that we can out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a system here to filter the rest. So one of them is decanting. I just showed you that. Pouring it out carefully so that we're able to separate the liquid that is on the top from the solid that is left behind on the bottom. And then the next one is going to be uh, filtering. You can filter. And to filter, we're going to be using a, a setup that is going to use a, a, some filter paper. And we've got our uh, funnel right here. We've got, I've got a glass funnel. Notice that I've got my ring stand with my ring hooked up to it. I have uh, a beaker that I'm going to hold my liquid in. And I've got a filter paper. I've got a filter paper. I'll show you how to use the filter paper in a little bit. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my setup. I'm going to bring down my ring so that the funnel is a little slightly, just slightly in the beaker. And then I'm going to place the beaker so that the funnel is touching the wall of the beaker. Again, 
What I want is I want the liquid that begins to drip down to run down the wall of the beaker. I don't want it to splash. All right, so now setting up the filter paper. Okay, to set up the filter paper in here, uh, I'm also going to need uh, my wash bottle. Uh, I'm first going to um, squirt um, my funnel real quick so that the filter paper will stick a little better on there. Okay, you can see there was no splashing. In this case, it's water on water, so it doesn't matter. I'm not going to have to dump this out. All right, so now I'm going to fold my filter paper into quarters. So here's, I folded it into half. So here, fold it into half. And I'm going to fold it into half again. Okay, fold it into half again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first, right, I've got one, two, three layers that I've made, right? So I'm going to take the first layer, and notice that the first layer will give me a good cone right here. So now I just open it, and it gives me a cone shape, a funnel shape. Now I'm going to place it in the glass funnel, and I'm going to press it gently against it. I don't want to tear it. And for the funnel paper, for the funnel, uh, for the filter paper to stick to the funnel, I'm actually going to have to add a little bit of water, and I'm going to have to wet it, okay? And that will allow my filter paper to stick against the walls of the funnel. So now I'll just very gently push against it. I want my paper to really stick against the walls, but don't tear it. Be careful not to tear. All right, so there it is. So now what I can do is, once again, uh, being very careful, I'm going to use again my uh, chemical spatula. And this time I'm placing the chemical spatula all the way down into the filter paper, right? And I'm going to pour a little bit at a time so that it only goes halfway up the filter paper. Right, I stop. Notice that the water is coming down, starting to come down. Uh, I don't want to go above the filter paper. So it's safer to just go halfway up the filter paper. Filtration takes quite a bit of time. Now, this isn't against the wall, so I need to adjust it. There we go. I shouldn't see dripping down. I should see a stream coming down the side. And so once uh, the water or the liquid level has gone below the half, I can add a little bit more, and I can continue to filter the liquid here. Um, the filter paper we're using is very fine, and so it does take a while uh, for the liquid to come down. So if we ever do this in class, you got to be aware that this process takes some time, and you got to be patient with it. You've got to do it right. All right, so I'm going to let it run down just a little bit, but um, I want to show you, again, notice that this liquid is kind of cloudy here. This shows us that there are some small particles that are suspended in the water still, some particles of sand. And I'm just going to remove this and put it to the side for now. You can still see there is some water, but I just want to show you uh, the difference. So I'll pour this out. We're not going to do this anymore. Uh, and I will show you the difference. You can see how this water is much more clear than this water. This one's kind of cloudy. This one's clear, and this is the water that has been filtered. The filter has been able to catch those smaller particles, those finer particles of sand that were still suspended in the water. And so those are the two types of separations that we use, separation techniques that we use. One of them is decantation. Uh, we decant the liquid to separate it from big particles of solids. The other one is filtration. We use this setup with the ring stand, the ring, the funnel, the filter paper in the wash bottle, and that allows us to separate smaller, finer particles that we cannot uh, separate through decantation.